So here's a good example of an entity that I think all too often is missed on MR, but is much easier to appreciate on CT images. And if you're not thinking about it when you're evaluating the MRI images, this is a diagnosis that you could easily miss. So on the CT images, you can see that there is clear evidence of soft tissue caking in the anterior aspect of the abdomen and pelvis. There is clear or mental caking with peritoneal carcinomatosis. And as you go down into the pelvis, you can see that there is extensive soft tissue. Now, in retrospect, if you look at the MR images, both the T2-weighted images and the post-gadolinium images, you can see that there is ascites and there are extensive soft tissue deposits throughout the omentum, so-called a mental caking in a patient with peritoneal carcinomatosis. Now, this is an older woman, and notice how we can't really see a discrete ovarian mass in this patient. This is an example of primary peritoneal carcinomatosis. People aren't exactly sure what the etiology of this entity is, although some people believe that in most cases, it represents an occult ovarian neoplasm with secondary spread into the peritoneum.